Honey Heart C. Many fans, today we are gonna be making, ooh, a stable mate that is inspired by this beautiful, beautiful little mini Winnie. Okay, if you look at her, you can see her coat pattern. She is this beautiful pink color and she's got these super cool, awesome, like little splattery spots right here that make her this super awesome decorator. So we're gonna take this idea from this cute mini Winnie and create it with a stable mate. So I have a pack of these blank horses right here from the horse crazy colorful breed paint kit, but that means we can create five decorator stable mates. Whoop. All right, we'll select which model. Ooh, let's do this rearing stallion. Whoop. Okay, perfect, so here we have him. Now this horse right here is all white and then there is a coat color of pink on top. So you wanna start out with a white model like this. So you can either remove the paint from any of your model horses or you can just buy them already prepped and ready to go, just like this one right here, unpainted. Next, we're gonna wanna take some white glue. So I got this glue right here actually from the Dollar Tree. We can get two of them for just one dollar. So it's like 50 cents for this. So we're gonna need some white glue, a spray bottle, and some water. So here's my spray bottle and I actually got this at the Dollar Tree too. So I'm gonna open it up. So I'm gonna take my white glue and I'm going to pour it into my spray bottle here, just a little bit. Whoop, there we go. Okay, so you can see I've got my glue in here. Now I'm gonna add a bit of some water, just a little bit, not too much. Shaking it up a little bit. Okay, it's a little bit too milky watery, so I'm gonna add more glue. You want it to have a really good thick consistency. That's more glue than water. There we go, try mixing this together now. Maybe you wanna have about 80% glue to about 20% water. Give it a shake. So pick a nice sunny spot outside and lay your model down, just like that. And now we're just gonna go ahead and spray the model. Make sure you do it the right distance to get nice little big spots. And make sure you do a couple practice tries before you get started, woo. Okay, perfect. So now I'm gonna flip him up and put him on this side and I'm gonna spray the other side of him. All right, so he's back from being outside. Now it is really hard to see our little glue sprays that we did and that's totally fine, it's okay. Now we're gonna color our horse and I'm just gonna take some acrylic paint and I thought it'd be beautiful to color him in this new shamrock color. You know, since St. Patrick's Day is coming up, so I'm just going to paint this guy. Do, 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 do. Paint, paint, paint. Him all over. La, 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 la. Painting a green horse. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna paint another coat of green on. Ooh, now that color is really coming in beautifully. Okay, now our stable mate is all painted green. Now the fun part. So I've got a bowl of some water here. We are gonna reveal our pattern by dipping our stable mate in the water. And I'm just going to rub it very, very softly here. And just by rubbing it, it should start to reveal its pattern underneath of all of our little glue spots. So keep on rubbing, 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 and it's not rubbing away the acrylic paint unless it's only on the glue spot. Isn't that cool? So I'll start on this side and I'll start rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. And you can kind of see that pattern is starting to take place. Ooh, it's so exciting. Oh, look at those spots. Rub that little face. And we're just rubbing all of the glue spots off of it and it's gonna create this really cool pattern. So keep on rubbing. <laughs> Looks like he's taking like a crazy bath. Rubbing all the glue away from you. Oh, you can see where the glue did a little drippy right there. Right there on his legs. Now you don't wanna rub too hard or else you could actually rub off some of the acrylic paint and that's not what we wanna do. We only wanna rub off that glue spot. So just by rubbing him very lightly, it naturally just pulls off the glue. Do, 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 do. All right, let's pull him out now. Woo, oh cool. We'll dry him off, take a look at his pattern that we have. Oh, wow, wow, wow! Okay, so he turned out pretty good. Maybe a little bit of some too much rubbing here on the other side of him. Wow, 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 okay. I think he totally, totally turned out. This is not bad for my very first time doing this. So you can kind of see here next to this guy. I can probably water down my paint just a little bit more so it's not quite as thick to create a little bit more of a splattery effect. So let's get out another one of these little stable mates and let's try it again. So I've got my water bottle, I've got my glue. Pour my glue in here. 
here we go. Water. And mix it all together. Okay, so let's go spray the full outside. All right, so I just sprayed this little full outside very, very lightly. Now we're gonna paint them with some gold. Do, 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 do. Paint the little full. Do, 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 do. So now let's add some water into our little bowl. All right, let's see how our little golden full is gonna do. Dip them on in and start rubbing lightly. There we go, we're starting to rub and now we can kind of see this pattern a little bit on our full. Ooh, really see that pattern now. Woo, all right, so this little full looks really, really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Got a little bit of a whiter mark. It almost looks like a little bit of a heart pattern right here on him. He's got some really big patchy marks on this side, so really happy. Okay, so now we just have to paint details on both of these models. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this touch of pink. And I'm gonna paint this foal's hooves with a little touch of pink. So I'm gonna paint his hooves right here. Do, 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 do. And I'm gonna use this trail tan color to paint my stallion's hooves. They look kinda cool being painted gold too if you wanted to go like crazy like St. Patrick's I I think that'd be cool. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Then I can use some white paint to paint in the foal's tail. Do, do, do. And his mane. There we go. And of course we're gonna paint our stallion's mane and tail. Cover up some of that green. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna look so green and pretty. He's looking pretty good. Now because he's a little bit of like this fuzzy green right here, I'm just kind of gonna touch it up a little bit with some green to kind of patch this up just a little bit. Maybe a little bit on this side as well. There we go, perfect. Now I'm gonna take some black paint and with a toothpick, I'm just gonna dip it right on in here, just like that. I'm gonna create a teeny tiny itty bitty little eye. Here we go, and this side. Perfect, and same thing on my stallion. Just going to color in his eye with a toothpick. All right, let's check it out. Let's see how our horses are. So galloping on in, oh, look at our rearing, rearing stallion, and oh, the little foal. Oh, I am so happy. With them. Okay, all I did was just spray on some gloss on them so to give them kind of a glossy, glossy texture. And they look absolutely amazing. Oh, I think they super duper turned out. Because you guys know me, I'm crazy about decorators. Oh, look at how cute. Oh, this full, it looks really good on this side. Those little patches look great on this little Florentine. And then, of course, this guy right here looks really good. You can see both sides here of all the different little patterns. And it's so cool because they're going to turn out unique. No matter how many times you do this, they will always be unique. So let's go ahead and compare it here to this vintage club, Sunny. Ooh! So this is an official briar. And here you can kind of see a pattern of what you can create yourself. So it turned out really, really really good. Oh, I'm so super duper happy. If you mini fans happen to try out this technique of creating your own Florentine kind of splattered kind of horses like this, please send me pictures of it. I would love to see it and share your pictures in a video. Don't forget to subscribe for more Briar fun and you guys have an absolutely speckly tastic day. Bye minis. Ooh, look at all of these super fun colors. Whoa, it's so awesome. You know why? Because this is fan art from a mini fan. Oh, look at Rainbow. Thank you so much. Minis, how well were you paying attention to the video? Do you remember the color that I painted the stallion? What color was that green? Put your answer below in the comments. Bye, Minis!